A circuit design for a simple charger depends primarily upon the charging principles and specifically upon the limitation of the charge current and charge voltage. The majority of chargers support DC current charging only. Simple household chargers vary predominantly in their structure. More often than not, they are fed through a transformer of a 220 volt network and provide rectified current with a low stabilization level. Circuit wise, chargers are normally made with a charge current adjustment, which enables current duration based on indication by the built in pointers or LEDs. A battery can be charged using any power supply source that supports connection of a certain battery as a load depending on the output power. Anyone wishing to make use of a simple but very powerful battery charge current indicator can easily build one at home. The circuit is so simple that the only complex component here is a high power optoelectronic switch. Now let's briefly look at the optoelectronic switch KR293KP4. The device is a coupled unidirectional MOS switch with low output resistance. The switch contains infrared LEDs, a driver with an advanced power off circuit, and MOS transistor crystals. Optical communications are enabled through a dome shaped optical fiber. Now, how does the device work? The optical diode input is connected to a plus of the charger and to the plus of the battery. The limiting resistance at which the voltage drops is in this case represented by the plus circuit, which normally has a certain length when operated with batteries. If the contact in the terminals is efficient, the voltage drop in the circuit is efficient for the optoelectronic switch to work. Thus the LED glow signals the charge current, and as the charge increases, the glow gradually disappears. The R1 resistor is selected depending on the voltage of the connected battery in order to limit the current flowing through the LED indicator.